Welcome everyone to Judas with Just a Commentary. We're gonna check out the video entitled Phuket. Yeah, Phuket, Thailand, of course. And it's entitled All Good Things Come to an End. Of course, I would like to thank you very much for requesting this video, guys. Subscribe, subscribe to Judas with Just a Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to the video, definitely leave a comment below and I try my best to react to it. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Okay, so let's see. Wow. Oh my gosh. Very beautiful. <laughs> Lightning just wow. struck so close. It sounded like somebody dropped like a two ton cement truck from the top of the building. It just like shook everything. Oh That's in Thailand? <laughs> I've never heard thunder that much. <laughs> no, I've never had that either. <laughs> oh, I think I've had a movie set. <laughs> Welcome to Dream Hotel. This feels like a dream right now. Like, this is so surreal. I love a good storm. That camera quality is very, very good, I must admit. Oh, wow. I was like, is this place cool? not expecting that. No, I know. Today, we've got something really exciting in store. It looks like the weather's clearing up, and we are about to show you some very friendly creatures. So the storm has just about stopped. Wow. There's still a bit of rain coming down. Still a good puddle up here. Very but beautiful. But wow, wow, wow. Nice. Oh my god, this is a beautiful place. I love this video already. So we've just we're gonna see Elton the tropical view of Thailand. Thailand. We've been to Phuket Elton Thailand. Jungle Sanctuary in the north in Chiang Mai. Oh, it's Mai, elephant! And we mm. had a great experience there about two years ago. Now we're gonna go over there and check out what looks like a mother the and most, her most loved we're animal in Thailand, I'm sure. An elephant. I remember I saw the white elephants, I've seen. And I've seen a bunch the white of elephants, baby elephants uh, just, they did some, on the back of like they did they a this performance, a, a performance in a, a, um, a representation of the king, right and it was amazing. White, it was the royal elephants, I believe, right? They were white. Doing our best, right? Laura, what's he doing? So cute. Look at it. It's so cute. But you don't succeed. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Wow. <laughs> Amazing video. You're not familiar with the concept. What the sanctuaries wow. do is they actually take formerly abused elephants. They were in the logging oh. industry. Some of them were in the trekking industry where people are actually riding on them. And they're brought here, they're cared for, they're given the ability to they're socialize given love. with other elephants. And most of all, if you notice that my com my color of my video is changing because of the sun, remember as I told you guys, I have no electricity, so I'm using natural lighting, well, and, uh, and as the sun is moving, it's Careful. shining bright at different part of the room, and that's why I went from bright to pink to red because of the sunlight and against the house. Kilograms per day, which is like insane. That's like eating. That's a lot. I don't, I don't know kilograms. Forget that. Dinner time. <laughs> Dinner time! Wow! There's a lot of food for them, and they're gonna go wild. I can just tell. Wild. Oh, it's the one from earlier, Christian. Yeah, here comes trouble. Here comes trouble. <laughs> wow, that's a big elephant. Oh my gosh! They don't even wait for for them to probably feed them. I don't need any food. <laughs> like, screw that. I'm just Don't they have teeth? Why are they putting their hand in there? No. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were supposed to take it and let it. That is what they found. That is so cute. <laughs> oh my god, that's creepy. <laughs> Amazing elephant, Thailand. They don't reproduce a lot, elephants, because I'm trying to wonder why they're saying they. Um, well, then again, they might be going next thing because of the fact that persons trying to get the husk or the like the teeth or whatever it is up down. I don't know. They're trying to get it for them to do something. Else. Now we are going 
souvenir or something. It's done illegally, so they're hunting them down and they it seems a little more tame about it today, but it has to get in there, the spiritual rise. They're gonna be with the elephants. Oh boy, mind the sit down over here. Oh my god, that is almost like a... a, a, a what? Ah, uh, boy. <laughs> They're moving in the mall with the elephants. This has been really good. Um, the only thing I'll say is like, you know, there's a few too many people at times, but they've done a pretty good job despite the large number of people in dispersing. So when we feed the uh. elephants, they had it pretty spread out. So you still had that opportunity to get a photo. With the elephants? With the elephants. And yeah, and overall, this is like a really incredible experience. I highly recommend the sanctuary. Whoa, that is very interesting. That is very interesting there. Woo! <laughs> I guess the water is, I mean it's looking muddy but it must be like so clear. just been scratching his butt against this wall here for like five minutes. <laughs> oh my god, that is just so weird. Look at it, oh. it looks so That's dirty. a very cute baby animal. Um, elephant. Do you think? <laughs> no, no, cute. Yes, master. And well, that's how you build a connection with an elephant. <laughs> Incoming elephant! It was one of my most like favorite experiences here in Thailand. Yeah. Wow. It has been awesome. Here comes the rain though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. What a beautiful view. By gosh, that is a good quality camera. That is a very good quality camera. Of course, most like it's a drone or Did something. Did I text from Christian's mom saying, I'm picking up Liam tomorrow morning from the airport as we're getting ready to go out tonight. And uh. we're like, shoot, like let's go check the uh, flight itinerary. Turns out Liam actually leaves tonight at four midnight. Hours. Well, not here four hours. tomorrow night. And we were like getting ready to go out. Like, thank goodness she texted us because we literally would have been out like having a few beers, being like, well, you were supposed to be- Living the nightlife in Thailand? Is that the hotel? Yeah, you're gonna enjoy a last Thai meal. Some shrimp crackers. Um, okay. And then you have Thai pineapple fried rice. The amazing food. <laughs> so we have the chef here food. and explain to us what all this is. We have like, two huge baskets of food and it's <laughs> delicious. I'm very excited to be yeah. here. You have to eat everything, eh? Hands down. Like, without even thinking about it, this is the best Thai meal I've ever had. And we're having here at the Trilogy restaurant at the Dream Resort. Like, I'm just blown Trilogy away. Trilogy restaurant. We had the most incredible prawn with the meat just showing out. It was nicely buttered. We had deep fried snapper. We had chicken and uh. beef saute sticks that uh, were dipped with like... That's a lot of food to be eating. That's a lot. But I can well imagine that when all this... When this all this amazing food is before you all from Thailand, you have to do The most meticulous assortment of fruit I've ever seen. Wow, that is beautiful. <laughs> Two emotional music. <laughs> Twenty cup guys. Yeah. And now he's got to go home. What are you doing at home? Landscaping and <laughs> chilling with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to leave Thailand. That's why it's entitled to all good things come to Thailand. Next day in beautiful Thailand. Oh gosh, I cannot imagine. But I must admit, that's a very beautiful hotel. So we've just arrived at our first stop. This here is Wat Chalong, and today we're being shown around. Wat Chalong. Eve. Eve, what's up? And this is Fiona, her mother. I'm the driver. The okay. driver. <laughs> it's so <laughs> cool because we literally met them in Patong probably about a week and a half ago, and they found oh, they us for a while Snapchat. though. They f so, like I don't know how they found us to be honest. There's probably thousands of people in Patong. Destiny, I think that's what it is. Yes. Um, and uh, today they're gonna be showing us around Phuket because they live yeah. here. And, uh, is there elephants? Yeah, the that's your elephants. That's your knowledge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right here. <laughs> so you gotta take your shoes off. Yeah, I notice. A lot of the things you have to when you enter. Is it? This is a common culture that when you enter in Thailand, temple, you must take off your shoe. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, if you could not, that'd be great. <laughs> so, Lord, did we just think we were gonna die a second ago? Yeah. Pretty much what happened. They put fireworks in that chimney in there. thing there, and it just makes it so loud. Beautiful Thailand. Wow. Is that like really cool? Wow, that's a massive, massive statue. 
Looking good, guys. <laughs> Very nice. So wrong. Yeah, it looks nice. So we drove about um, 20 minutes up the mountain. Hold on. You can see, we're overlooking like all of Phuket. We pretty much got a full panorama on each side of the island. Hold on, guys. Someone came, not someone, a group came to Dominica. And they brought something called Saran. These. These. Here they are. I got them. I didn't realize, like, it's a Thai. It's a Thai land. Notice that Saran. I remember seeing Saran Mark on the package. So it's like. We were wondering what is this? So it's like this. And then this one. Interesting. And then this like one. Really I was wondering what was it. It's like she's like as it said so long. As it said so long, I realized most likely right that's what like she's got. Right now. Look at that's that. interesting. All we're missing is the synthesizers. So these are for these are for women then. Yeah, we're wondering what are those because I told my mother when the internet come back we will search exactly what it is. But I guess I still research it more. Maybe a dollar and a half, a little more. One of the best pad ties I've had. If you're coming up the hill to see the big Buddha, keep an eye open for the tin roof and that sign right there. <laughs> the best. So I've not really traveled Europe much, but literally, I feel like I'm in a little Italian street right now. Check this out. Yeah, it looks oh so. This is so pretty. Thailand is so extremely neat. Check that out. They got some really cool graffiti. Wow. There. So another local secret here, here in Phuket town, I believe it's called Tang Le Road. It's very colorful. Phuket, uh, Thailand. This is the place to come. And we're getting a macadamia nut, skillet cookie with ice cream on top, which is like my favorite dessert ever. Mm, Sounds very delicious. So that is a melted cookie with wow. ice cream. It wouldn't be a complete day in Phuket if we didn't go watch the sunset. The only problem is we might not get a sunset, but we're gonna try. Yeah, we're looking like we're in the in there. We're getting dinner here, and it should be really beautiful. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Ride. Here we go. <laughs> Damn! Look at these villas. They it's raining. Wow! This is just. Oh my God! Oh, this is so beautiful! Wow! That is amazing. And the new, they got a nice location there. Wow. Alright, so we just had that a is beautiful. Of incredible cocktails. This one right here is my favorite. This is called the Secret Garden. And uh, there's like literally no better way to end off an incredible month and a half here in Thailand. We're month and a half? Rata Rocks, which is wow. like one of the top places to get drinks and dinner here in Phuket. It's on the southern tip. If you guys are looking for the best sunset in Phuket, Kata is the beach to go to. That right there is the perfect way to end our trip. Like full disclosure, that is not a cheap meal. You're going to be paying about 1500 for the Wagyu tenderloin steak. But if you're on a fancy occasion, what, US? that was the best steak I've ever had. I'm very fortunate to have been able to hang uh, out with I, and Fiona today. It's been really great that they showed us around. I Gave wonder if 1500 what? If it's Baja. And, uh, this has been pretty much or, around, or US. so it is now time for us I would to assume go back it's to the hotel and then go to the airport. So let's go ahead and let's head back. Hi. So good to hang out today. All right. Bye, guys. Huge thank you. Bye, guys. Okay, everyone. Say cheese. Three, two, one, cheese. <laughs> they don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> we don't have enough. So we basically bought 11 t-shirts and we bought an Adidas sweat suit set. Yeah. So Christian's taking the pants, I'm taking the tops. We spent 2800 oh. for everything, which is about 110 US. Funny, like they oh, okay, so, okay. Ways. Some people are aggressive, some people are sassy. This guy played the sad card. He's like, oh, my friend, why you do this to me? Why you do this to me? <laughs> we ended up getting the deal, though, so... Oh, okay, so you're so not bad. I box in short. <laughs> I and box. I can give you happy pants. I'm a, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Mine is already happy pants. Happy pants? Yes. But look, I've already got like four pants. How much, Bila? Uh, I paid 180. I'm not angry, I'm not angry, but the price. Wow. Please come. No. My honey bun. <laughs> I bought 11 pairs. I already have 11 pairs my, of those. My honey bun. <laughs> 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 you bought. You're letting her down, Laura. You're letting her down. They're negotiating. Oh, same, same, but different. <laughs> if you're coming, I made a time to be a guide for you. Oh, great video, of course. She was negotiating hard. It's like, come buy this one. <laughs> I reached 300,000. Guys, thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank you very much for requesting this video, of course, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to Juno Sweet Justice Commentary. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you want me to react to video, leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.